My name is Courtney, and this is my story. So, my name is Courtney. I started my weight loss journey over two years ago, January 2014 doing a Biggest Losers Challenge at my girlfriend's work. Um, I started on Herbalife, trying to do the easier way out. I uh, did Herbalife for about four months and gained back 15 pounds once I stopped. So I knew then and there that I needed help. So my girlfriend Megan was a trainer at Above and Beyond Physiques and she was like, come in, let me help you. So I came in, met with her, met with Micah, and Micah ended up writing meal plans for me that I followed every 10 to 14 days, and I trained with Megan twice a week. Um, started with cardio every day and built my way up from there. So over the last two and a half years, I've lost over 125 pounds total. Um, I hit a huge milestone in my life, and I feel like it's only the beginning. I'm excited for where everything is gonna go from here. Um, back in April of 2016, I actually had surgery to get rid of all my excess skin removal. Um, it's probably one of the scariest things I've ever had to do, but it was worth every single bit of it because the way my body is now and how happy I am, I could be content with where I'm at right now and just keep living life from here on out and be totally okay with it. So it's definitely been a interesting road and it's only the beginning. So, so why fitness? Uh, I feel like fitness is a total package. Um, Fitness is also nutrition, training, dieting, your lifestyle, the meal planning, like it's everything. It's a whole balance package. So fitness, I feel for me, it took a lot of time to get to this point, but I'm here and I wouldn't trade it for the world. It's been a hell of a ride and you're about to hear a lot more about it. say what motivates me the most is creating the perfect physique in my own head. Um, I know that I want to tone my arms, I know that I want to tone my legs, and by doing that, I'm creating the perfect physique that I want by training every day, staying on my meal plans, and basically being balanced on everything. So, oh. is back. Training back. I love doing bent over rows. I love seated rows. I love training back because I feel strongest when I'm training back. So it's definitely the reason why. Come on Christina. And yes, we re-rack our weights here. Biggest pet peeve in the gym. had to be hitting my 100 pound loss mark. Um, 
I thought hitting 50 was going to be something, but hitting 100 pounds was probably the greatest accomplishment of ever. Um, coming from 305 pounds and losing 100 plus is just literally amazing. So that's definitely my biggest accomplishment. Um, struggle. Is that what you mean? Struggle. Um, finding balance is hard. Being 28, having a lifestyle that's in the gym, but also having friends that are out of the gym, drinking, summer, parties, it's hard. It's a struggle every day. I balance life with the gym and dieting and meal planning, and I would say that's definitely the hardest part. But if you can keep going every day, just hop back on, stay on, stay consistent, you're fine. So the next question <laughs> is what music do you listen to <laughs> that gets you ready? <laughs> for you or for me? <laughs> so I listen to Eminem, Tyga, Missy Elliott, Ludacris, you name it. Things that I should not be singing, that I sing out loud in the gym and people look at me like I'm crazy, while my partner on the other hand listens to her Christian like gospel, like pump you up music. So it's a weird, weird balance really weird that's no bullshit either like she literally does listen to like Jesus in her ears and I listen to the hood rat shit make a great comment <laughs> can you move that down for me I'm not holding it white and black right there hood rat shit <laughs> And then I pray for you. And then you pray for me. <laughs> Alright, I have to say my overall long-term goal for the fitness is to be able to pick a weight, stay at a weight, like the physique, and be able to hold that. I've struggled very hard of hopping off, hopping on, staying on, staying off, and gaining weight. That's the hardest thing. And I want to be able to get to a weight, stay there, maintain it, and enjoy it. <sighs> Again, I'm not breathing. I'm not breathing. Okay. Wow, that picture on the left, um, that was my wake up call. That was the picture that started this entire journey. That picture was on the beach back in 2013, celebrating with my friends when I used to drink a case of beer a weekend, <laughs> go out and Dewey, celebrate, rage, the whole nine yards. And that picture was the reality check for me that I needed to do something and I needed to do it quickly. And I, from there, I never looked back. Um, I never felt comfortable in my own skin. I never really liked showing off anything. Um, but at the same time, like you'll see on my Instagram that just because I was big doesn't mean I didn't sport my size. I did. I never covered myself up. I never really didn't go out or didn't do anything. I'm a very open person. I have a great personality and a great group of friends. Um, and I never let that stop me. But now it's like I've taken my whole life to a different level. And I seriously, it's the best decision I ever made. 
So in the day in the life of me would definitely be waking up every morning, getting my meals ready. Um, most of them are definitely prepped every day. It's more just adding something or just putting them all together in my lunchbox. Yes, I carry a lunchbox with me everywhere I go because I never know what I'm going to be doing throughout the entire day. So in order to be as successful as I was, I had to be prepared. So I packed every single meal with me and I brought them with me. So my morning would start out with doing fasted cardio anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes a day, sitting down, enjoying my meal, which was eggs, chicken or steak, and maybe some rice, depending on how my plan was worked out. Um, and then three days a week, four days a week actually, I would train. So after eating my first meal, I would hit the gym running with Christina, go train, heavy, enjoy a protein shake and a Gatorade after and start my work day. And then every two and a half hours from there, every other meal would happen. And it would be chicken, ground turkey, steak, um, green beans, broccoli. I'm very picky, so my menu seems repetitive, but that's fine with me. I'll eat chicken all day long and that doesn't bother me. Some people it does, but I don't mind it. And I like food, so I'd rather have food than protein shakes. <laughs> I have to say, starting at 305 and getting down to 190 or even my lowest of 180, um, consistency is the only thing that helps keep me going and staying on the first the, on the first page of it all. Like, so starting out at 305 or 276 when I came in here with Micah was like, how do, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this every single day? And it was when I think I first lost my first 20 pounds, and then I lost 20. Um, did I just say 20 and 20? Okay. When I first lost 10 and then I lost 20 and then 30 and it just kept going. Like every single month I religiously lost 10 pounds. No bullshit. And I think that was my biggest motivator. Like I didn't mind having to come in here and do cardio every single morning because I was getting rewarded by it, by losing another pound, by losing another inch in my pants. Like that was important. And when I finally started reaching goals and fitting in clothes that I never fit in before and shopping at stores that I've never been able to shop at, I think that was like the most exciting thing of not buying any more plus size clothing and going to H&M and going to Forever 21 and going to all these stores and being able to shop there. Like that's exciting as a female. So that definitely kept me going. Um, I did do a lot of cardio. I would put in double sessions. I would not go out at night because I was so driven to my weight loss. My friends will tell you, like, for the first three to six months, I cut myself off. Like, I was strict, I was on my meal plan, I was focused, and I was not letting anything come in my way. Nothing. And that was my choice. I remember celebrating my 26th birthday, being the DD for my three best friends, and they all got hammered. I took one shot of tequila at midnight, and that was it. And look where I am now, so I don't regret it. <laughs> so I would say my favorite and most used ritual before getting ready to come into the gym is definitely like I wake up every morning, get my day started, get my meals together. I come in every single day, do fasted cardio, have a meal, let's watch Netflix, watch my favorite shows like Narcos and Being Mary Jane and it helps get me centered before my workout. Um, I should stretch, I don't, but I should. So I urge you guys to stretch. Um, but that is that. Um, my favorite cheat meal is going to La Tolteca, which is a Mexican restaurant around here, overloading on chips and queso and salsa and barely having enough room for a meal. That's my favorite thing. One piece of advice I would have to give to someone who's just starting out would be to step out of your comfort zone. Walk into that gym, walk into the office, go seek help, go do whatever you have to do, but make the step. Um, I definitely stepped out of my comfort zone coming into a facility like this where I was probably the most overweight person. But you gotta throw that out the window and just do what you need to do to make yourself better. So there's gonna be a lot of struggles, hurdles, obstacles. You just gotta keep going. Every day, just keep fighting past them. That's all I can recommend for that because it's not gonna be something that you're going to accomplish in two months or three months. You'll be battling this for the rest of your life. 
All right, uh, my name is Courtney. It was awesome sharing my story with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, follow me on Instagram at lovelycourt underscore. So it's L-O-V-E-L-E-E -E -E underscore court. Um, you can see all of my transformation pictures there, people that are in my life and people who inspire me on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I hope this series of the HOG help you and give you the motivation to change your own life. Thank you.